All right, good morning, Duval, once again. It's nice to see you um, for our annual student rights and responsibilities um, assembly. We're doing this as a whole school this year, and we just wanna make sure everybody knows what the expectations are so that we can make you as successful as possible in this distance learning environment. So before we get started, we have a entire team here to support you. I know that we're not together, but we are here for you. So we want to just introduce ourselves. Um, so our principal is Mrs. Smith, and she will probably join us on the back end. Next, we have Ms. Backus. Do you want to introduce yourself? Does anybody hear me? Okay. So, okay. So next we have Miss uh, Miss Simmons. Miss Simmons, are you here? No. Okay. Um, Miss Sator is not with us today. Mr. Wheeler. No. Okay. Miss uh, Dr. Maguire. Good morning, everyone. Okay, and Mr. Taylor will be joining us on the back end as well. And I am Miss Nankin. For our security team, we have Sergeant Foy, um, who is going to join us on the back end. We also have Corporal Washington. Does our guidance team want to introduce themselves, starting with Miss um, Is Miss Wilbon here? No. Okay. Good morning, everyone. This is Miss Brown, ninth grade. Miss Brown Wilbon, ninth grade. Professional School Counselor A through K. Looking forward to serving you throughout this year. Have a great day. Okay, and we also have Miss Mrs. Banks. Hi everyone. Good morning. I'm the other ninth grade counselor for last names L through Z. Okay, we Miss Sawyer. Good morning. Uh, my name is Miss Sawyer. I'm tenth through twelfth A through letter D. Okay, and we have Ms. Stewart. Good morning. Um, I have the alphabet 10, uh, well, the alphabet M through Q, grades 10 through 12. Um, welcome and good morning. All right, and we have our peer mediator, um, Ms. James. Or two with any issues you may be having with your peers. <laughs> Also, I think for the remaining of the week in the troubleshooting room. Welcome. Okay, and Dr. Windsor may be joining from the back end as well. She is having technical difficulties. Good morning, Good morning everyone. This is Dr. Windsor. Please feel free to, to drop in and see my virtual office if you need to get in touch with me. I'm available to assist you. All right, well, thank you, Dr. Windsor. Okay, so thank the purpose, oh, sorry. Hello, can you oh, hear yeah. me? Can yeah, go ahead. Hi, this is Ms. Weaver. I, I'm on my phone, so I don't know how this is working, but I'm Ms. Weaver. I'm the counselor for all students, 10th through 12th last names, E through L. All right, well, thank you so much. So like I said earlier, the purpose of today's student rights and responsibilities uh, assembly is just to outline how students should behave in school, including virtual school settings. What, what we wanna emphasize is that, you know, we're still in school right now, so we still are, are gonna hold you to our high expectations. When we come back to school, there'll be expectations on the bus. We also have expectations if you were to, you know, when you come back to school and then if you're on the school property for any reason, there are expectations as well as if you visit other PGCPS schools. So as far as grade, um, you are being, we are back to an A through E system, everyone. So the, the P and the I that we got fourth quarter last year, um, we're back to a regular full day, which means we're back to a regular grading scale. So you will receive your progress report grades in a few weeks. You will receive regular report card grades. Whatever you do or don't do for virtual learning will count towards graduation. Um, from what I've seen so far, you guys are doing an outstanding job. And you guys, I'm hearing great reports from your teachers. So keep up the good work. So what I'm suggesting is that you keep a record of all of your assignments. You make sure you complete all of your assignments and you can see in Google Classroom whether, you've whether you turn in the assignments or not. So please keep track of that. Also, you should be monitoring your grades. So your grades are available to you. You have access to SchoolMax. 
whatever uh, login credentials you're using to log into your, per your uh, PGCPS email will get you into Schoolmax as well. So please keep track of those grades and please reach out to your teachers if you have any questions. You will be given regular tests just like you would in school. So make sure you're keeping up with your studying. All right, Dr. Windsor. Good morning again. So pupil personnel worker or PPW for short, I act as a student advocate, a liaison and a consultant. I'm here to help you with your attendance so that you can have more excused absences versus unexcused absences or tardies. So make sure you differentiate between a lawful absence and unlawful absence when your parent writes your note there are about 13 lawful absences, which you can find online in the Student Rights and Responsibilities Handbook or on the Administrative Procedure 5113. So please note, for synchronous learning days, students must be present Monday and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday for live instruction. On Wednesdays, which are considered asynchronous learning days, to get a present code, you have to participate in an approved activity, which could be a small group or meeting with a specialist such as myself, maybe Ms. James, or one of your counselors. Okay, let's talk about Wednesdays for a second. So like Dr. Windsor just said, you are being held accountable for uh, reporting to your virtual lessons every day. Now on Wednesday, um, it may look a little bit different because teachers have some flexibility about how they're gonna run Wednesdays. Um, they may ask you to participate in a small group. They may ask you to do an assignment on your own. Um, either way, you need to make sure you get credit for participation. So if you're asked to just log into Google Classroom on Wednesday and complete an assignment, you need to make sure that assignment is complete to get credit for being there. Um, we're asking all, all students in general to check in with their teachers at the beginning of class, um, just to clear up any misconceptions you may have about the expectations. If the teacher asks you to stay and stay, um, be in a small group, uh, please do that because that, that is intended to help you. Uh, we want to make sure that nobody's left behind during distance learning and that you all get the support that you need. So Wednesday is not an off day. Wednesday is a learning day. Um, it is designed to help you. We expect you to take advantage um, of the extra assistance. And like I was saying, these are some of your excused absence reasons. Death in the family, illness of student, and with illness of student, please pay particular attention the principal may request you to bring in a doctor's note when you have three days of, of absence. On the sixth day of absence, she must request a doctor's note because we need to make sure you're getting medical attention. Technology issues are excused during distance learning. Excuse me. <clears throat> Pregnancy. Pregnancy and parenting, court summons, hazardous weather, work approved by the school, observance of a religious holiday, a state of emergency, suspension, lack of authorized transportation during the regular school year, not when you're suspended from the bus, health exclusions, and then other sets of emergencies. Okay, um, I'll, I'll take this as Sergeant Foy had, uh, had an emergency at Largo. Um, so for security, we have two, we're, we're in a system or we're in a set right now that we have um, a virtual world of security. Um, so the security is right now, their, their mandate or their actions are, they are basically looking at and watching what you're doing online um, when you are, using your pre-PGCPS login, they can see everything that you're doing. So all of you that have been going to classes you don't belong in, um, thinking that you're changing your name, um, please remember that you're in a electronic world. So you have an electronic uh, footprint or fingerprint. 
which is your IP address that is attached to your house. So if you do something stupid, don't think we can, can't find out who you are, um, changing your email, things of that nature, they are able to search for you and find you. And you have several of your classmates, uh, not necessarily classmates from Duval, but um, from other schools that have come to our location. And they have been um, caught doing stupid things, things that could possibly put them in jail. So be mindful of what you're doing. Um, also, they're gonna be handling all the cyberbullying, things of that nature. And Ms. James will go into some of that stuff um, later on. So for the code of conduct, understand that you are, we are in a distance learning slash um, possible coming back to the building code of conduct. So while we're in distance learning, a lot of things that are part of our daily day, if we were in the building, still applies. So you still have to worry about being tardy to class. There is a, a policy that your teachers have probably given you or told you about already, about your tardiness to class um, in the virtual world. And I'm quite sure once or if we come back in a um, in-person setting, they will give you the, their policy on um, coming late to class at that time. Disruptive behavior, that same thing as if you were in person, doing things that are disruptive will result in uh, a um, consequence. Um, and subordination, dress code, we must make sure we are understanding you are not expected to be in your school uniform during the distance learning, but you must be dressed appropriately, no pajamas, um, uh, tank tops, things of that nature, things that are not appropriate or do not follow the code of um, student conduct for non-uniform schools. You know, we can go to the next list. So for distance learning, um, <clears throat> you have to understand that um, the PGCBS is committed to providing a safe and orderly learning environment conducive to rigorous instruction. Students must maintain appropriate behaviors at all times whether you are face-to-face, 100% -face, distance learning or in a hybrid model. Students are expected to dress appropriately. As I just said, no pajamas, et cetera. Um, the student code of conduct is applicable during less distance learning. So if you do something as stupid as try to um, show drugs on camera, um, show a weapon on camera, um, you're doing something or showing inappropriate pictures and videos of sexual nature, all that stuff falls in the same um, actions as if you were in the building and you did it in the building. So you are risking expulsion status if you do certain things and you're also risking suspension status. Um, so make sure that you don't do anything that you wouldn't do in the building and not expect to get in trouble. <clears throat> Technology code of conduct, understand because we are in a technology situation, you must re remember that we are going to be looking at, as I said before, for security purposes, um, administration also has, has capability of doing it as well. Uh, so, and so are several other staff members that may or that are not in Duval, they are watching what you're doing while you're online. Um, you must know your login information. Uh, report virtually to all your scheduled classes on time. Be respectful of the adults and your peers while you're online. Follow the PGCPS technology equipment user agreement and follow the use of technology guidelines provided in the handbook, which you can pull up online. Um, sharing your user account information or passcodes with others, that is not allowed. And includes sharing your, your teacher's Zoom codes and um, and your and Google Classrooms. If we are able to connect you to the person who bombs a classroom, which we have been able to do on several occasions, um, you will suffer the same consequence of the person who who you allowed to get give who you gave that particular code to come to your classroom and cause a disruption. Uh, attempts to bypass security restrictions and a computer device and network is not 
allowed, once they recognize that that is um, being done, your, your system will be shut down and you'll be locked out. Uh, use network account on non-school related activities. Um, <clears throat> so while you're in school, you are not, your, your Chromebooks are not to be used for anything other than what you're supposed to be doing in class. Uh, copy license software, download or copy files will not work without permission. Uh, create access or distribute uh, offensive, uh, obscene, bullying or otherwise inappropriate materials is, in a, is not allowed. Um, <clears throat> capturing in images or recording of other students or staff from another device. So basically taking your cell phone up and taking a picture of the screen and sharing it on um, social media. All those things, if you are caught doing that, then you are going to be um, dealt with accordingly, according to the student rights and responsibility. Um, using inappropriate screensavers, or um, if you're using a back, virtual background, anything of that nature that is inappropriate, you are not supposed or not allowed to do that. And of course, intentional damaging of the equipment. So in consequences, um, <clears throat> if you are using a device and you break one of the um, policies, you are putting yourself in a position where you will um, have some things done to you that are according to the student rights responsibility, meaning um, suspension, expulsion requests, parent phone call, parent conference, loss of privilege, privileges, meaning you are going to be allowed to go to class but your camera and your mic will be blocked at all times and you'll just be sitting there with your name showing. Um, or you, you could be possibly banned and, and your, your, your account locked out and your parents will receive your work and it'll be just as if you were in, in school suspension. Ms. James. resolution before you act out just as mr taylor was stating uh i'm here to support you and any situation um that you may come across i will help you diffuse it before it escalates if you want to help with this process you can become a peer mediator at Tuval high school we are looking for students who take initiative plan on making peer mediation a top priority we want students who are looking out for the best interests of their peers at all times Students who are not afraid to speak up, who are part of their association with this team, its beliefs and its philosophy. All right, so if you are having an issue uh, here, who do you wanna go to? First, um, school, personnel, academics, assistance, nearest teacher, any teacher at Duval. So since we are in virtual or distance learning, you can do this online, emailing them, or trying to reach out through your Google Classroom to your teachers. Parent guardians speak with parents about school personnel and academic issues. Security and administration, you are to speak with the security team, uh, Sergeant Foy, we mentioned that earlier. Professional school counselors, uh, the counselors are on here, and this information is also online. Myself, the peer mediator, I can help you with school and personal and peer relations. And then we have our PPW, the pupil personal worker, referral source removed any barriers to education, staff, students, relations, and advocate for you however you need it. Okay, so as far as, you know, who we, we just said there's a whole team here. There's, we don't expect you to remember everybody who's up here. Um, if you go to our website, we have everybody listed um, who's on this panel right now, um, it, as well as their email addresses. Um, so feel free to, to reach out to anybody who you think can support you and make you as successful as possible. And I believe that is it. Uh, I think I saw Mrs. Smith in here. Are you still in here, Mrs. Smith? Yes. Good morning. Okay. Um, good, good morning, Duval Tigers. Um, Welcome to our first school-wide um, Students' Rights and Responsibility Assembly. I just wanted to remind everyone that tonight is back to school night. And I ask that you and your parents log on to our general session that starts at six o'clock. You can find the link 
to that session on our school website. At the top, it's, there's a link that says back to school night and you can join there. I will also email that link to all students so that you can join uh, quickly that way as well. Um, your parents are then will have the opportunity to do both a virtual or a live back to school night with your teachers where they can log on and either watch the video if time doesn't permit them to go into the teacher's classrooms and see them face to face. To your parents must use your PGCPS login to access those classes if they can't use their personal email. And that is for our technology security. Because as Mr. Taylor said, um, when you're logging into PGCPS, um, either our Google Classrooms or our Zoom, uh, we have security to track and identify people who do things inappropriately. So um, we need your parents to log in that way because we don't want um, parents um, to, to experience inappropriate things and hear inappropriate things on our back to school nights, as you've heard in other schools throughout the district. Um, this is school, Monday through Friday. You've heard the, the initiatives of what will happen on Wednesday. If you need assistance, uh, please feel free to reach out to your teachers, um, ask for extra help. Um, soon we will be starting tutoring as well with our National Honor Society students. And um, please also read the emails that I sent, I sent to you, usually weekly with updates. Um, the school district right now is providing every student free, free lunch on Mondays and Wednesdays. You can go to any school near you or, or come to Duval between the hours of 10 and 1 to pick up lunch on Monday and Wednesday. But I also need everyone who, who um, wants to receive free lunch after we return back to school to go on to go online and apply for free and reduced lunch. So everyone should go have your parents to go on. If you go to our website under important information, there is a link that, that will take you to free and reduced lunch. It's also on the PDCPS website for free and reduced lunch. The, um, the, the salary caps are there. So if you qualify, if your parents qualify for a free or reduced um, lunch, please apply so that we can continue to provide everyone with lunch throughout this pandemic as parents and families are experiencing great loss with through either limited or loss of um, employment. So please go on and apply for free and reduced lunch. Finally, our troubleshooting link, we will probably be the, this will be the last week that we will be able to offer the troubleshooting link live on our website, but there will be information where you can, um, if you need a help with this, with your technology during the day, um, there is a 240 number that is online that you can access to get help with technology. Make sure that you have all of your Zoom codes and your Google Classroom codes. As your counselors adjust schedules, they'll share those codes with you. So um, I look forward to everyone having an awesome school day. Make sure you're completing your work on time and submitting it on time um, and giving it your very best. We are probably, we are now in the third week of school. Pretty soon teachers will be doing progress reports and grades will be coming out. So um, make sure that you are keeping up and keeping abreast of your academics. Thank you everybody. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. So now that you've heard from administration, we want to turn this over to guidance. So guidance is going to provide some information for everyone. Um, so take it away, Ms. Doyle.
Ms. Sawyer, I think you're on mute. Let's start over. So can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So to search for an email that you have in your email, um, let's say you have over 100 emails and you're trying to search for something, you can search by the title, the phrase, or the person that is sending it. Let's say you're searching for education online programming, which is our EOP program for credit recovery. So you will put that into the search bar, education online programming. You will click the magnifying glass that's on the left hand side of the email and then your results will pop up. It will, will pop up by the person's name who sent it. Also, um, it will be in the, cert, the results um, of your email and then you just click on it and you can find what you need, which is um, education online programming. And then um, you're able to fill out that application, which is needed for credit recovery. Next is Naviance, which everyone should be getting used to or learning how to do. You only log through that through Clever, which is www.clever.com. You click on Login as Student. You click Duval High School in the name, and then you put in your PGCPS username and password, and then you scroll down to Naviance. Um, we will be doing Naviance training on Wednesdays where I help you search for colleges and other stuff that Naviance has. Um, it's a really good website. That's it. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Does anybody have any potting words for our, our Tigers before we um, end this assembly? This is Miss Weaver. <clears throat> Again, I'm the counselor for students, uh, last names E through L, 10 through 12. We just wanted to remind the students that all of us, all the counselors have their information listed at the bottom of their emails. And you've all received emails from us at this point. So our Google website, our class, um, Google Classroom, our office hours are all listed. So if you need us, that's the best way to reach us. You can click at the bottom and it'll take you directly to any of our sites or office hours. All right. Well, thank you, Tigers. Coming back to school night, and you guys have a great day. Bye, bye, bye.